I'm Jeff Mowat. In this video, I'm going to share a motivation tip for having a more positive mindset. And that tip is start strong. Unfortunately, a lot of people start their work days on the wrong tasks, well, for the right reasons. And by that, I mean, think of three major tasks that you as a manager or business owner or a leader might have at work. You might have uh, tasks around customers, uh, customer issues that are coming up, major customers you need to schedule, that type, customers, right? And then you also have tasks around administrative tasks. You might need to uh, organize inventory. You might need to schedule people. You might have to do some billing, invoicing, receivables, payables, you know, something along those lines. And then finally, a third major category of task is what I call strategic growth projects. These are activities that don't necessarily have a, a deadline, but it's things you can do to generate more profit for your division or your organization over the long term. It's ways of increasing efficiency. It's ways of uh, addressing and preventing problems over the long term. So the question becomes, which do you typically start your day with? And when I said starting with the wrong tasks for the right reasons, one of the biggest mistakes that I made early in my career was spending the first part of my day on customers because I always believed that, okay, customers, the most important thing in your business, it's really hard to do, hard to get. So make sure you take care of customers and the business will take care of itself. It was one of the biggest mistakes I made in my career. It wasn't until I think five years into my career, I realized that I got so busy with customer tasks, I wasn't doing the long-term strategic growth tasks, which is a little bit like that science experiment you probably saw at some point in elementary school. Remember if a teacher ever took a, a, a clear pitcher and put, filled it with rocks? And when they put in the big rocks, they'd say, is it full now? And the kids would go, yeah, yeah, it's full. And then the teacher would put in some gravel, smaller, and they'd shake it up and go, now is it full? And the kids would go, well, yeah. Well, then the teacher would put in sand and shake it up and go, now is it full? And boy, it looked full. And yes. And then the teacher would add water. And then the point was, yes, it's full now. The lesson from that little experiment is if you do the little things first, it's pretty hard to get the rocks in later. And the rocks that have the most impact in your business, in your career, in your motivation are strategic growth projects. So my encouragement, my motivation tip for you is to start with the big strategic growth projects for the first 90 minutes of your day. Because when you're doing that, you're acting like a leader. And then for the bigger part of your, maybe six more hours, you can work on those customer issues. Now, now you're not working as a leader. Now you're working as a worker. And then finally, at the end of the day, we can do it. What is it? Administrivia. And incidentally, if you're doing admin yourself, you're acting like a clerk. Now, we all may do that. We may keep track of expenses and that sort of thing. However, it's not the highest, best use of our time. And oftentimes, that type of activity should be either automated, outsourced, or delegated. How do we feel motivated at the beginning of the day? You get the important things done at the beginning of the day for the first 90 minutes. And then when crises arise, you get customer issues, you as a leader have the comfort of knowing you're addressing the big issues. You're doing something to prevent it from recurring, which means that you automatically walk around with a feeling of calm clarity. And your coworkers, your team members, people who report to you are going to sense that degree of calmness and clarity. And that motivates you because you're actually doing something about this and it helps to engage other people. So I hope you find that to be helpful. If you like this video, you're going to love my tips. You'll find them for free at jeffsbusinesstips.com. See you next time.